some of the best known fossils. So you might know that the oldest fossil till date has been stromatolite. I would say arguably the oldest. You know, there are certain claims that says that there are prokaryotes uh, fossils from Alaska and Canada older than stromatolite, but that is contested, right? So stromatolites are basically the cyanobacterial biofilms. So these are the fossils of prokaryotes, not yet the eukaryotes. These are bacteria, isn't it? So biofilms are the way how the bacteria actually are found in the nature, you know? So it forms the film one after one another, right? Uh, easiest way to find the biofilm is like, you go on a vacation but uh, you know let us say in your bucket there is some water in it so after a week or two vacation you come back and then in 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 your bucket the water if you touch the sides of this bucket the plastic bucket you can see a small layer of slime and that is nothing but a biofilm if you look under the microscope you can see that it's like a film one layer it's like a two dimensional sp uh, space you know like a sheet uh, the bacteria have formed so how this kind of film are being formed by biofilm, really interesting, you know, that itself is a juncture of biology and chemistry and physics together, you know, the mechanistic properties. And biofilms are also oftentimes used in environmental engineering for, uh, you know, for uh, removing the contaminants, you know, for treatment of the municipal wastewater, so-called trickling filters, isn't it? So yeah, so these stromatolites are the deposits of the cyanobacterial biofilm, uh, one uh, on the top of another, approximately 2.5 billion years. It's really old, just after Hadean. The Archean time, uh, you can see this kind of, um, uh, you know, the organism. So it's really, really old, isn't it? So, and uh, yeah, this deposit is from Australia, the southern and eastern coast of Australia, you can see, especially in a place called Darwin in Australia, you can see this, right? So, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so that that is what the the stromatolite. Then another one is trilobite. This one is a very very common in most of the paleontological collections across the world because it's one of the most abundant fossil, right? Trilobite. So it is it's, it's originated in Cambrian uh, explosion, isn't it? The radiation, the major adaptive radiation at the time of Cambria, uh, Cambrian uh, time. That is around 570 million years back. You know. So that is at the beginning of the uh, Phanerozoic, the current uh, young, isn't it? So 600 million years back uh, from Cambrian all the way to Permian, 286. So there is an event called Permian mass extinction that completely wiped off the trilobites, you know? So whatever trilobite we have is at least Permian, at least 286 million years old. You can uh, make that uh, uh, judgment, you know? So, yes, yeah, so just in the Paleozoic era, you can see this trilobite. Another very important fossil is called Tiktaalik. Tiktaalik is, a, a, you know, it's a Greenlandic a tribal language, the Tiktaalik, you know. So, the Tiktaalik is basically a fish to a vertebrate transition. So, it is a missing link, you know. And, yeah, so it's a transitionary fossil. It's a sarcopterygian, that is lob-finned Fish. So, if you look at the vertebrate, uh, you can see uh, actinos, uh, actinopterygy, then chondrichthys, and then sarcopterygy. So, sarcopterygy is inside the tetrapod vertebrate, including us. We, have, we belong to tetrapods, right? So, mammal, reptile, and apes together is called the sauropsid and amphibians. So, that is the tetrapod, isn't it? So, sarcopterygy is a kind of a fish, but it, it is technically a tetrapod. Right? So, yeah, so that this is a transition sarcopterygy. So, this is what the tiktaalik is. So, tiktaalik is, you can uh, say that this is the first organism that ever from uh, colonized the land from ocean, you know. So, yes, yeah, so transition to tetrapod. That's very interesting. It's, it has been found in uh, 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 Greenland, right? So, yes, Tiktaalik is 375 million years old, the fossil which we have it from Nunavut uh, in the Arctic Canada, uh, very near to the Greenland. So, in in in, in Inuktut, that is the, the language in uh, uh, Nunavut region, Tiktaalik means large freshwater fish. Very interesting, is it? The name. Then, another very interesting fossil is uh, Ophthalmosauridae, which is 152 million years old, 
again that is um, uh, transition transitionally fossil from uh, reptiles right uh, to reptile in, in in fact from the fish like form right it's uh, it's not that ancient it is 152 years old and which is uh, very interesting this is basically fish lizard you know you can say fish and lizard together fish to reptile isn't it and this particular fossil is from india it's from kutch region of uh, gujarat as you know kutch has high salinity and that is the reason why that area has got lots of uh, fossils so it is you can say it is kind of a lagostarian of india you know kutch yes and uh, yeah you can see that this is basically an axe geological axe which uh, the geologists often time use you know for excavation so why why do we have an axe here this is to give us a clue about how big the fossil is so you can see that the axe is approximately uh, you know two feet so then you can see that this is from here to here it has been really an enormous creature you know so this is how the reconstruction of this ichthyosaurus uh, you know so ichthyosaurus is like fish dinosaurs isn't it so yeah uh, reconstruction is very interesting right it gives an idea about like how it had been so you need to use a lot of imagination too archaeopteris is yet another uh, you know the transitionary fossil reptile to bird so of course this is kind of a old systematics old taxonomy you can say now latest uh, you know the phylogenetic systematics reptiles and birds are same clade right so called reptile itself is a, a you know paraphyletic group right aves are okay but reptile and aves together forms one clade which has same common ancestor right Yes, so it is late Jurassic period around 150 million years back. Archaeopteryx is one of the most famous, uh, you know, missing link fossil, right? Yes. So Tyrannosaurus rex, which I already told you, it is, uh, you know, around 668 to 66 million years back, the fossil in the Cretaceous time. So T. rex has all been devastated by KT extinction event, Cretaceous tertiary, uh, you know, or Cretaceous paleogene extinction event right so yeah so it is uh, it's you know if you if you see this kind of uh, uh, hollywood uh, reincarnation movies like uh, jurassic park and world uh, you can see that this is kind of a rare fossil uh, you know so yes yeah, so like in the natural history museum in london when i went over there in nine, 2009 first visit i could see that this massive fossil reconstructed fossil in the entryway you know so gold as well stephen j gold he has written that his own inspiration to choose paleontology as a discipline was that he came across this fossil in the american natural history museum one day so this is the exhibition at the american natural history museum so this uh, yes if you if you see this kind of movies you can see that this fossil is very very rare but it's not it's very very exceptional you can say there are almost 2.5 billion individuals had been during the cretaceous time at one point of time, 2.5 billion Tyrannosaurus rex, which is massive, roaming around the world. Can you imagine it? You know. So of course, there's so many interesting fossils. For example, Spinosaurus, uh, which is possibly aquatic uh, dinosaur. Uh, yes, almost entire uh, this kind of dinosaurs have uh, devastated by the KT extinction event, but shark did survive. You know. So of course, it's it's a mystery how the shark survived while even aquatic dinosaurs like spinosaurus uh, devastated this extinction event you know so of course there are so many uh, angry looking and it's uh, scary uh, dinosaurs like thanatotherestes uh, you know in in latin this thanatotherestes means uh, the reaper of death <laughs> you know of course it's really scary isn't it and so as the scariest one is uh, lucalcan aleocranius so in latin it means the one who causes fear <laughs> you know so all these are different kinds of dinosaur if you dwell in dinosaur you can see so many diversity of the dinosaurs you know and so many forms right not all are carnivorous some are omnivorous and some are herbivorous too right and we have our own dinosaur rajosaurus narmadensis uh, it is approximately 80 million years old uh, remember 80 million we were like a uh, like an island right we have just been split from Gondwana land and we were moving towards the Eurasian plate 
and the collision and formation of the Himalayas happened approximately 55 million years back, right? So 80 million definitely we have been India, Indian subcontinent was an island, right? So at that time you can see this Rajasaurus Narmadensis, you know? So Lametta formation in the Gujarat is where uh, this uh, uh, fossil has been found, this discovery has been made, right? And yes, Mammothus primigenius is yet another very important fossil, uh, which is in the Pleistocene epoch, which is not too uh, old. It is very, very near. So 2 million years back till 10,000 years back. So that means that our own ancestors, the hu human beings were coexisting at one point with the mammoth. So the theory says that mammoth got extinct because human being hunt them. You know, that could be very well true, right? So in, in the quaternary period, so in the last ice age, it went extinct, this mammoth, approximately 40,000 years back, right? So it's not an ice age per se, but it's like a mini ice age, you know? Uh, yes. So current epoch is Holocene, as you know. So this just before that, the quaternary period of the Pleistocene, it went extinct, you know? So yes, uh, the most famous mammoth fossil is called Luba, you know, and very interesting. This Luba is having the uh, the soft parts. You know, this is from the Siberia, the Russian Siberia, and Luba keeps on traveling because you know many places people haven't seen uh, the mammoth fossil, right? It's excellently preserved, and the Russian government always uh, launches out to different countries. Recently, it was in Australia. So mammoth has been discovered in almost everywhere in the in the world except two places, two continents, one Australia, another is in Antarctica. So except these two, mammoths were there everywhere, you know. So this is very interesting. You can see that these are really soft and DNA sequences can be extracted. And there are active research team that are looking uh, to clone this into the elephant to make, to bring this, uh, you know, the mammoth back to the life. Of course, there are, there are uh, people who are working actively onto it. Uh, you know, with the stem cell uh, techniques, right? Cloning and stem cell cult culture. So this one is, this uh, Luba has been dated, this is from Russian Siberia, dated 40,000 years back, uh, at the end of last ice age, the mini ice age, you know.